A day after giving the biggest push to reforms by his government, the Prime Minister is adamant that India needs it. Shrugging off widespread protests against FDI in multi-brand retail and the steep diesel price hike, Manmohan Singh said the time had come for India to courageously go ahead with reforms, even if it meant taking some risks. I urge everyone interested in the country's future to understand fully the implications of this scenario. They will quickly come to an agreement that the people of India deserve better than this. Scenario 3 is called policy logjam. It reflects a situation where for one reason or another most of the policies needed to achieve scenario 1 are not taken. If this continues for any length of time, vicious cycles begin to set in and growth could easily collapse to about 5% per annum. I believe we can make scenario 1 possible. It will take courage and some risks, but it should be our endeavor to ensure that it materializes. The country deserves no less. The second component relates to macroeconomic balances. To achieve the target of 8.2% growth, we need to revive investment in the economy. The investment environment is therefore critical. Our fiscal deficit is too high and is attracting adverse comments from analysts. It must be brought down over the medium term to release domestic resources for productive employment in the economy.